hello guys welcome back to my channel it's a real quick video as to how i aligned this uh mess that the previous owner did so i did cut this piece off and uh we're gonna re-weld it This is what I saw also. This was cut and they kind of welded it. It does line up, but I'm gonna see what I can do so I can fix it. I don't wanna buy this part. It looks okay, so I'm gonna try to fix this, salvage it and uh, align it. What I'm doing right now, I'm just cleaning all the surface taking all the welds that they did so that uh, I can align it.
there you go it's completely welded inside and out all i need to do is just clean it up and grind a little here and there and uh get it ready for that por 15. but now as we can see it's done right sturdy aligned perfect whoever did the other welding wow but there it is guys it looks nice there you go now that you guys saw that uh, now it's aligned it's not misaligned everything is welded the way it's supposed to like I said I still need to clean it up grind it up and uh, apply that POR 15 so you guys are gonna say how do you know it's straight how do you know that uh, it came out straight let me show you guys with this this is a tram gauge if you guys have uh, never heard of it or don't know how to use it let me show you how to use it and uh, how you can get the perfect measurements this one's from killertools.com right there guys big shout out to them that's the model number right there art 90 mx I'm gonna leave all the information in the description below this one's a digital one there is a sim uh, simpler ones that uh, you can use but I got the this one right here the digital one so let me show you how it's uh, used in order to use this particular model you turn it on right there there you go and it has a laser so it is with a laser so it'll give you an accurate uh, measurement also there's got two positions right there this one and this one so that you can move it i'm gonna use the back one it's a lot uh better for me but right there it's telling me that i'm using the back one if i want to switch it you go right there and it'll switch to the front but i'm using the back one so i'm going to the back there you go now this one has inches you leave it pressed right there inches millimeters or feet whichever one you want to use i'm going to use feet right now um in order for you to turn it off you use this one right there and it turns off all right so let me show you how to use it first of all i'm going to start by turning it on now i'm gonna i know that this side wasn't uh cut so i know this one's perfectly aligned so i'm gonna use this mark right there put this right there and open this up and go to the very end on this side okay let me close this up and then what i'm gonna do I'm gonna press it. I'm gonna press where the on button was and it'll record how big or how much feet is this. This one says two feet, 0.811. Okay, now I'm gonna go to this side. I'm gonna put it in the same mark that it has on that side and it should measure exactly the same it's right there in the hole this one doesn't have a hole because that one they drilled it in but it's exactly where that hole is so i don't need to press it again reason being i know it's exactly um the same uh length but now this is just so that i can get the length now we're gonna square it up that this is the way i got i got it to this length let's square it up Again, I know that this part is straight, so I'm gonna use this one. But this one's a little bit farther. So I'm gonna open it all the way, open the second one, put it on the same hole that uh, we did right now, and come in all the way to this one. Right there, 
Now we can measure how long it is. Five feet point twenty eight two. All right. Let's see this side. As you can tell right here on the bottom, it's not matching up. It's not going to that hole where it, it's supposed to be. So I know that this one's gonna have to come just a tad more. It's not much, a couple of millimeters, but I still need the radiator support. Okay, I still need the radiator support and that's the one that's gonna give me the exact alignment. But I know that it's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna be using this to align the radiator support. And that is what it's called a tram gauge, guys. Uh, I use this to square up uh, the front end. Uh, you can also use it to square up the frame. Uh, you can use it to square up a bunch of parts on your vehicle. Uh, and it, it'll give you the exact uh, measurements that you need, okay? So like I mentioned, I still need to paint that uh, radiator support. That's gonna go here but I still need to sand this down and paint it. But uh, yeah, there you go, guys. So if you are in the market for a tram gauge, right there, Killer Tools, guys. They got, actually, they got a lot more stuff than just tram gauges. They got, uh, let me take you to the computer so that I can show you the amount of stuff that they have. Here we go. This is their website right here. Right there you have the tram gauge, the one I was using. This, uh, they got steel dent repair, aluminum dent repair, plastic. All this stuff is what they carry, guys. Look at this. Awesome. This is for aluminum. If you work with aluminum parts, plastic repair. Air tools. Floor pulling glue pulling they got lights they got all the tram gauges these are the ones that uh, i'm telling you that uh, there's a little bit more with is not uh, not digital that you can use also lifts stands everything that you want it's right here guys go ahead go to their website check it out and uh just tell them far away sent you there you go guys all right nice this is a very very nice website guys all right so let's just continue and there you go you saw all the stuff that they have and i want to thank again killer tools for sponsoring this video with the tram gauge now i know that this front end is going to be squared up it wasn't before i know that because when i was trying to put the new fender uh it wasn't aligning it was giving me really bad gaps the holes where i supposed to uh, uh, screw the fender it wasn't aligning so i know that uh, whoever did this uh thing right here uh did not uh, do it good but we fixed it and that there you go another thing that i'm also eliminating is the emissions guys uh the emission system let me show you exactly why look at this and the bad thing about this that you can't find it anymore you cannot find it anymore and if you are able to find it it's going to be expensive so i'm just going to eliminate the emission system also the egr all the tubing this motor has so much tubing on it that you don't need so i'm going to eliminate all that and this is going to be it guys this is going to be it for this video uh quick real quick video regarding how i fixed this uh mess right here and the tram gauge how it's used what it's for and uh there you go again Thank you, Killer Tools. Uh, all the information of this tool and uh, their website is going to be on the description below. So go ahead, hit them up, tell them far away I sent you. Thank you very much. And like always, stay safe. I'll see you this coming weekend. 
for uh, the installation of this uh, radiator support. I'm gonna show you how it's installed. I'm gonna continue using this cram gauge. So uh, keep, keep tuning in guys. I'm gonna show you how everything's gonna get squared up the way it's supposed to be. Thank you, like always, stay safe and God bless.